But what I wanted to do this morning is, first of all, I want to acknowledge the important work that you do as tennis coaches, the positive impact that you have every day. You touch lives and you change lives. That's not an overstatement. I, I've seen that in my own life experience, and I bet as you look back over your life, you can see how coaches have impacted you. In fact, I'm willing to bet that one of the reasons you're sitting in this room today is because of a coach, because of someone who believed in you. I know that's why I'm here today. And secondarily, I want to talk about how can all of us reach a little higher? I was driving from Canada to the United States. I was stopped at the border by a guard. He walked up to my car. He said, sir, are you a United States citizen? I said, yes, I am. He said, may I see a form of identification? I said, well, certainly. I reached into my wallet. I pulled my license out and I handed it to him, put on a clipboard, took a few steps back, wrote down some information, came back to my car, and he said, sir, where are you coming from? I said, well, Vancouver, Canada. I said, how long have you been there? I said, only a day. And his third and final question to me was, where are you going? I said, Seattle, Washington. And when David asked me to be here this morning and gave me the honor of speaking to all of you, I thought about these three questions. Where are you coming from? Now, certainly, we cannot live in the past. But all of us can learn from the past. This is something you teach your players, I'm sure, frequently. I don't know about you, but every time I'm discouraged and I look into my past, I think to myself, Roger, you're forgetting what you probably should remember, and you're remembering what you probably should forget. A few years ago, as David mentioned, I wrote a book called How High Can You Bounce? Now, this book did fairly well until I spoke at the National Skydiving Association. <laughs> they didn't seem to like that title very much. I guess the word bounce made them a little uneasy. And in this book, I wrote a chapter on wisdom. And I'll never forget, as I was preparing this chapter, I looked up wisdom in the dictionary. And I was really struck by what it said. It said, wisdom is experience and reflection. I thought, wow, that tells me that just living our lives doesn't necessarily give us wisdom. In other words, it's not automatic. Wisdom is intentional. It's going back into our past and evaluating life experience that gives us wisdom. That's why I had mentioned earlier to look into your past and to remember and reflect back on the coaches that had an impact on your life. If you ever doubt the incredible influence that you have as a coach, just go back into your past and look how coaches have influenced you.